Hey folks, I'm going to show you how to test a 3-pin on relay that Ford used on many of their trucks, uh, especially the bullnose, uh, dense side trucks, um, 70s through 80s. And uh, there's not many good tutorials or book references on how to do it. So you can do this with just a battery. And uh, when you use a battery, just to be sure, always use an inline fuse like this. I've got a 2 amp fuse here. And I'll, I insist you do this because I've blown many of these this, uh, this way and uh, if I didn't have fuse in those cases it'd be a spark something a little bit dangerous more dangerous so always use that but anyways um, on this fuse here I have figured out that uh, this pin and that pin that's where the battery connects to uh, you can change them so you can make this positive negative or negative positive when that happens the fuse um, is energized and what happens is you make an internal connection between here and there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is uh, hook it up like that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so I have the positive hooked up there. Okay. And I'm going to touch, touch this pin, touch this pin with the negative. See what happens. You hear a clicking. Okay. That means the relay is internally connected. So I'm gonna come back and show you with the multimeter what the resistance value looks like. Okay, all I've done here now is uh, hooked up two more probes. One going to that neg uh, negative side and that comes down to the negative probe on the multimeter. And then in a positive one from the multimeter going to the other side. And as you can see here, the relay is hooked up. So right now I'm showing about 0.5 ohms, which uh, most of that, that is just the probe's resistance, but uh, that's a dead short right there. And uh, watch out what happens when I remove the positive from the relay, uh, from the battery. See, now I have an open. When I touch it, I get a short. It's better to just hook it up like that, but anyways, that's kind of how you do this. And uh, you can change the positive from here to that side, negative from here to that side, and it does the same exact thing. But that's basically the long and short on how you test this three pin relay. Now, where does the horn relay live? If you've got the cruise control module, you can usually find it by there. On a dense side truck, the cruise control module is in there, and uh, right by it, you see the horn relay right there. Sorry, I can't point to it, but uh, you can probably see it there right there so to access that you have to remove the uh, instrument cluster trim piece and uh, the air duct there on a bullnose truck the on relay is usually kind of in this area where the cruise control module is that's where you'll find it 